Hi everyone, you're watching the property show. Over the next 60 minutes, we'll answer questions from across the country to help our viewers, that's you, take the smartest decision with property by Seller Invest. And that's not all. We'll cover all angles, legal issues, financing options, home design and improvement, plus construction-related decisions. We've got the country's leading experts talking to you. My expert co-anchor, Samir Jasuja, founder and CEO of India's best real estate data intelligence company, Prop Equity. Samir's team of over 250 people now. Are the numbers clocked higher? Hopefully, we'll be 400 people by the end of this year. But right now, we're between 225 and 250. 225 to 250. Army out there is going to be 500 collating data for every day for us, making sure we give you the most updated and correct information. So, I mean, thanks very much for being here. Let's tell you what's coming up on the show today. Well, we'll begin with a Pune market question and come to the answer. Is it the right time to invest in Pune residential property? Navi Mumbai home options in under 75 lakh rupees. It is one of the largest communities. Is the new Mumbai metro project violating safety norms? Yes, we all welcome a metro, a new metro line, but it has to be absolutely safe. And a very important need in every home in India, waterproofing. How do you make sure there are no leakages and no seepages? All right, so those are the four big things that you can look forward to other than many more questions being answered here on the show. We've got Rajneesh Tiwari. Joining us on the phone line, he's got a budget of about 75 lakhs. Rajneesh, uh, Mumbai, Navi Mumbai, is that where you've shortlisted uh, a property or would like us to help you with a property? Uh, hi, Manisha. Yes, hi. Uh, Navi Mumbai is the place I am looking in for a property and my budget is uh, between 50 to 75 lakhs. Okay. And I'm looking in for a 3 BHK apartment. 3 BHK is the minimum requirement. Uh, I can wait for about a year or two. All right, you can ba wait for a year or two. Is it an investment uh, that you're looking at or would you like no, to I'm, actually... I'm looking in for end use, but right now I'm staying somewhere. So I can wait for a couple of years to uh, get the actual position of the flat. Okay, one to two years. Rajni Savari's budget is 50 to 75 lakhs and the requirement is a 3 BHK end use project or apartment. Sure. Uh, so, Rajneesh, what we've done is that we've actually shortlisted three different micro markets for you, uh, starting with Khargar, Ulwe, and Panweo. Uh, don't be startled, there are a lot of projects coming out there. Uh, Nami Mumbai has a maximum amount of new development activity happening, and in just these three areas, there are about 214 projects to really choose from, with a supply of about 28,000 units coming up over the next three to four years. If you look at the inventory overhang figures, which are key data points, uh, it will clearly reflect that Kargar is at 14 months, so it's, it's a very reasonably good investment opportunity, uh, always 11 months. And Panvel is very high because sometimes what also happens is when the micro markets are doing very well, many, many new developers start to launch many more projects in those areas. And if you look at the key weighted average prices, Khargar is the most expensive, 5,450 rupees a square feet, uh, followed by Ulwe, 4,250 rupees a square feet, and Palvel is the furthest, so that's why it's cheaper, uh, and it's about 4,150 rupees a square feet. Uh, if you look at the appreciation trends, uh, Khargar and Ulwe have done... Uh, 21% have actually uh, appreciated by 21% over the last two years, followed by Panvel, 18 odd percent. Uh, and the projects that we would recommend for you, we've got projects in each micro market, so you can pick and choose based on the size and where you want to be really. Uh, closer the better according to me. Uh, so Riviera by Tharwani Group in Kargar, 5100 rupees a square feet. Uh, average size is about 1251 uh, square feet for 3 BHK getting ready in 2012, so not, uh, you wanted a project which is going to get ready in the next one or two years. This is a very safe bet, directly available from the developer. Then there is Sai Enclave uh, by the Paradise Group in Ulwe, uh, 5,050 rupees a square feet. Uh, the 3 BHK is a little larger over here, and this is going to get completed in 2014. Again, available from the developer. And lastly, uh, in uh, Panvel, there is Riverside by Kalpatru, uh, large number of units, 750 in all, uh, 1300 square feet is the average 3 BHK size and getting ready in 2013. Okay, so three projects there. I'm just going to do a quick summary. This, this is Rivera from Tharwani, Sai and Clave. Rivera Tharwani actually from uh, Paradise Group. And we've got Riverside from Kalpatru, Greens 
from IBREL, that's India Bulls. Have I got the names all right? Yes, I think that's the, it's just greens. I thought there should be something ahead of greens, but it's actually just greens. Vinod Kumar Rai is joining us on the phone line with his next question. Vinod, hi, go ahead. What would you like to know? Uh, uh, good morning, madam. Uh, I have a house in Mumbai and uh, I wanted to purchase my second house at Pune. So I just want to know whether uh, decision to buy a second house in Pune is okay as a uh, future uh, appreciation in long term. And also I had uh, selected one of the property called Amanora. Whether it be a right decision to buy a property in Amanora, what will be the future of the project? All right. And why Pune? Because it's close enough to Mumbai or you've got friends and family there as well? Uh, uh, not exactly because as, as we all know that the property cost in Mumbai is very, very high. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you see the cost of the property in Pune look uh, where we can afford and uh, may uh, end up buying some uh, mm -hmm. appreciation in long term. All right, so that's a very clear decision. Investment in the Pune market is a good market. We've uh, recently had a reporter go there and survey both the residential and commercial market. Lots coming up, lot of projects, both in commercial and residential. Looking strong, the market as such, or just average and not that great? Well, I would say Pune uh, is a fantastic place. Uh, large number of developers over there, a lot of supply coming up at all points in time. So it's very important that you select the right micro markets in Pune closer to the IT hubs is what I would always recommend for Pune because that's what is driving that uh, city maximum with respect to price appreciation. Uh, having said that, I don't think you will be able to get the appreciation that you've been able to get in Bombay uh, compared to what you would get in Pune. Uh, you have in Harapsar, the area that you shortlisted is uh, Harapsar because Amanora is right over there. It's a very good area. It's uh, The two biggest projects over there are Magarpatta city, which is what Harapsar is really famous for now, integrated township, and then is Amanora. Uh, if, you, if you look at the data points, they reflect that the inventory overhang is only about seven months. Uh, 5,800 units have come up uh, in about total of 34 projects. This is a mid-segment with a weighted average price of about 4,200 rupees a square feet. Uh, if you look at the price appreciation, as I mentioned, Pune doesn't appreciate that much. It's gone up by about 9 odd percent only over the last two years. And that's primarily because there's a lot of supply coming up in the Harapsa region within Amanora and in Magarpatta city at all points in time. So if you look at Amanora, this is a 400 acre parcel of uh, land. and township is quite large they have about total 15000 units planned there at this point in time about 2500 units are ready and 300 units are in the stage of finishing uh, it's a private equity funded project i don't think you can go wrong with this project at all have a long term view and you're good to go